Note to self, uh, think up pile of humorous uh, opening segments. Additional note to self, uh, edit this out. So to make up for uh, what didn't get done last <laughs> last episode, I put my nose to grindstone and uh, actually accomplished a few things. That over there is a whole new building, and it is there, and I won't be able to make this jump. Yeah, I didn't think so. A uh, bunch of new buildings on the front here. Not sure what to use for shops. Again, Ocean Spray makes an awesome hedgerow. Probably, I think slightly better than using uh, huckleberries. Got a huckleberry right here. It's not quite a hedge. You're getting real friendly with that uh, prickly pear there, by. So, this whole new building contains nothing more than two mills. That's it. I, I couldn't think of what else to put in here. Uh, the reason this is here, and another one of these beautiful doors, is because this thing wanted... I don't think it wanted a room. Yeah, it wanted a room. It wanted a nice room at that. Grumble, grumble. It wanted a nice room, and I, I have. It's got to be somewhere where they can access the same chest all the rest of this stuff does. Otherwise, I'd have a hard time making anything by constantly having to shuttle things outside or to a new room. But uh, one of the first things I made with it is this: the cement kiln. It's our star today. Builds at the assembly line. Uh, it's got a, no functional changes from the previous version. It wants to be in a room of at least 1.8. Uh, tell you now, might as well bump it up to two. Once you get your levels high enough in wrong button. Once you get your levels high enough, uh, one of these that should be parallel processing or the alone one. And that should be the frugal or luxury version. It bumps it up by 0.2, which means it's uh, to get the bonus, you're going to want a room of type 2 or better. And that's well, just going to have to do it. It lets out smog from this hole right here, which just has to vent to outside the room. Unlike before, where it could vent inside the room and didn't care, now it wants to be outside the room. That's going to be a bit of an issue, because right now, the only room we've got down here... Yeah, just go ahead and sleep on the job. Is this uh, rather boring little 0 .087, 0 .87 room for masonry tables. And I'm not really in the mood to gouge out a whole other room, but I think I might have to. Uh, eventually, I'm going to have to fit a truck down here or something. Or a skid steer. And this... This ramp is too narrow to do that. It wants to be at least four wide and I think like six high to get a full loaded truck in here. Which means this is going to have to go somewhere else. I'm probably just going to put it over here. So how big a dude do you want? You want... 45... 45 cubes, right? Uh, that's... that's 5 by 5 is 25, 2 high is 50. There's another room for that. Uh, 4 by 4 is 16, and 4 high is 64? That's a worthwhile room. 4 by 4 by 3 high is 48. Okay. If I do that, I can only have the 1. However, worst case scenario, we just expand the room. So if you give me a minute, I gotta go tear all of that out of there to give this dumb place thing up, up thing place to th thing. Okay, here's the hoping this is gonna work. We've got a room of 64, which is a bit bigger than it needs to be, but I'm okay with that. If we go like that, a one, two, three, four. I have enough pipe. Pipe. Survey says, chimney pipe out of the room, yep, we're out of fuel, but that's okay. I 
happen to have some good old compressed dyno right here. Now, you can ask Dub, why did you build this thing all the way down here? Why would you, why would you build a cement kiln at the bottom of the world? Well, for starters, uh, we've already determined that uh, the slag tomb is it's it's a cop out way to deal with tailings. Yes, I understand this. However, it's a cop out way. There results in an awful lot of material having to be dragged upstairs. Instead of dragging that material upstairs, we can burn it up down here. Now you see this? It's got one, five different recipes for concrete, all of which require some manner of uh, granite and something else. Now, down here, we are swimming in granite and gneiss. Gneiss, gneiss, whatever. So if I do this, I don't have enough down here for the first run. Well, it's four. Now those uh, those requirements are a little high because we have no experience in it yet. Let's bust a bunch of this up. I'm gonna I'm gonna I, I absolutely love this whole uh, sweeping gathering thing because it absolutely fits my mining style. Grab enough of this stuff to do something with. Like I said, we are we're swimming in the two ingredients we need the most of, and it's all in the way of us putting more slag down here. All right, and survey says we have enough to do four runs. Now I'm going to caution you guys. If you guys have played up to this point, you've noticed that stuff is really expensive off the start and really cheap off the end. Do not do your giant, great, big run of this stuff the first time you have it. The uh, the costs don't scale as your experience does. Like the the forty I just spent there, that's not going to translate into higher production as I level up. So I go back here to cement. Apparently, a cement specialist. You can go away now. Yes. So as we level up, our times and our material costs all go down. So if we just dumped two whole stockpiles of stuff in there, we're not going to get as much out. Now granted, it's just granted, it's just stone. I'm going to that one hurt to actually say. And granite and gneiss are everywhere. So they're essentially unlimited once you're already down here. Uh, part of the game is to not cause a gigantic wad of pollution everywhere you go. Now, one thing I noticed last time was that uh, air pollution underground seemed to translate into surface pollution up top. Which I'm guessing is the game's way of handling things. Uh, that's a lot of smoke. And since we're not worried about how you know getting black lung or nothing like that, uh, the smoke mechanics are really just there to to show that you're pumping that carbon into the air. If we go to here, oh, see, there's our first level up. So our first cement, we like. I think you gain XP a little too quickly in this. We're already at like level four. So I go here. What do I want? Do you want focused alone? Doubles the speed of tables when alone. 20%. I'm going to go with alone. So that should process a lot faster when we generate another job to do so. So right now, like you can already see that our, our crafting requirements have gone down. From 10 and 10 to 7 and 7. Uh, did, did that change? 1 minute 70 some. I think the time scales up, but the material costs don't, because you've, you've spent the materials, right? Let's grab some more, some more goodness here out of the ceiling. Fortunately, uh, this is 
It's, it's essentially an unlimited resource. Kind of like in Minecraft. You may eventually run out of a lot of things. Stone will never be one of them. Do -do -do. Grab and grab. Break. Now I can see two... Two miners working in tandem, where one guy just has the lucky... Uh, the lucky break thing, which means you don't get the big flakes. And one guy with the sweeping grab. Really, really cleaning up. So now we're at seven. Our next level up. Gonna be here real quick. I don't think we're gonna reach it on this next one, though. Again, I'm playing in single player with zero collaboration, so your mileage may vary on what you're getting on the server. And ding! All right, there, we're pushed up to that. So now we're at six and six. Oh, and what was the time required? What was the time? 18 seconds. So we've gone from a minute to 18 seconds. So this should... I was hoping it would go faster. <laughs> but we're going to get like, all that XP. And we're getting... We have managed to make four concrete. Oh my god, it's so heavy. Can I not place you like a block block? Oh no. Right, because we need to make... Get back in there. <laughs> yep, that's... Okay, we need to make reinforced concrete to the block. Which is going to require rebar. It's going to require a blast furnace. Now that's going to require a bunch of other setup. However, for now, we're going to sit here and puke out a bunch of smoke. What's our pollution map look on the surface? Environment. Ground pollution. We have... It's not showing up yet. Air pollution's not showing up. I'm assuming that like last time... Nope, map off. I'm assuming that, like last time, underground activity translates into uh, shmoo on the surface. It only makes sense to do that. Now, oh, here we are. there's that level up. The issue is going to be on whether or not we put a blast... Actually, we can't put a blast furnace down here. I will show you guys why next episode. That's, uh, that's going to be the blast furnace episode. I've noticed that people kind of tune in for certain things. And learning how to do stuff is one of them. Have we pushed through to almost there? And that's going to be the, uh, the lavish or frugal upgrade. Oh, did we just not make it? Oh, that's... oh for real! I got one more thing. Just, just to get the last skill thing. You're killing me, game. You're killing me. Break a bunch of this up. Smack that. Do that. What do our costs come down to now? Costs are six from seven. Mind you, we didn't do that big a job, right? Let's see if this tops us off. Let that run. I'm going to take this bit of downtime to thank everyone for coming by the channel. Uh, got a bunch of new viewers for Eco. Uh, you know, I honestly don't know who else is doing Let's Plays of this. I will freely admit there's like uh, Mr. Species 7 is about the only guy whose uh, Eco stuff I watch. Um, I'm not going to say it's, it's to watch him fumble with things, but it's kind of to watch him fumble with things. But he's learning the game as he goes. Whereas, uh, I will freely admit to making sure I've figured out what I'm doing before I open my mouth. Talent choice is... Yeah, lavish. We'll go lavish workspace. Which means you now want a... Haven't updated yet. Maybe that doesn't update. You know what? I don't care at this point. 
I don't. This has essentially been the cheapest and easiest uh, blast furnace. That visual glitch is still there. That little glitch up there in the corner, that's still there. There you are. That's the uh, that's the concrete kiln. Uh, I really like that this. The models in this game are great. I'm gonna take a moment to admire the models in this game. I think the uh, the people who design them they've got a great aesthetic to them. All right, so our pipes are. That was our smog output. Schmog, schmog. That's all fine. This doesn't mean anything because I'm playing single player. All right. I should have tried to catch it running. That way, uh, can I? I don't think I have any of these other things down here. I definitely don't have basalt. I can't break basalt yet. I don't have any shale down here, no limestone. If I get one more niece. See if I can catch this while it's running and find out because the game will tell you how much pollution you're making at a given time. Uh, right now, I'm not... That should be the only thing I have polluting right now. I don't have a stove running. Actually, the iron stove doesn't even make pollution despite the fact you can burn coal in it. Maybe it's because you're not burning a whole lot of coal. Maybe that much. Pipes, smorg. 0.79 smorg per second raises by every blah, every 21. So if I ran this thing for 20 minutes, I get one more ppm. However, my plants are doing a great job of keeping that down. Let this be a lesson, kids. Tree farms will save your butt in this game. Uh... Yeah, we're uh, <laughs> in single player. There's really isn't much of a worry about polluting your world to death. Uh, you may seem like you're getting black lung standing next to a smog outlet, and because your air pollution, you don't know what to do. Oh, nope. Aqueduct block is uh, oh, it's a, an interesting nutritional breakdown for uh, that block. Good to know. Anyway, we'll be back to next episode. We've got to hook up the blast furnace. I have to, uh, we've got to start making a whole lot of iron. And unfortunately, because that requires water, because they had to make it a little harder, uh, that's going to be up on the surface. Thankfully, it doesn't require a room. We're going to make a lot of smoke next time, kids. We're going to make a lot of smoke. I'll see you in the future.